Well, we've been using Rice Art Math in our homeschool for five and a half years. I've taken my oldest from level A, halfway through level F, and my youngest, we have gone um, all the way through level B, and we're starting level C next week. So I'm going to try to um, talk to you about the pros and the cons of the program. I'm going to try actually not to repeat a lot of the information that you can find like on the website or like in their information. Um, just kind of give you our experience with it. And hopefully that'll help you decide if you want to use it for your child or if you think it would be a good fit for your child. Um, probably start with the pros. <laughs> start on a positive note. Um, so for us, the pros are that it's very hands-on and it's very good for um, visual or kinesthetic learners. I When my firstborn was like four or five, I took a, a quiz online. I'm sure it was not very legit. I took a quiz online uh, to find out what kind of a learner he was because I wanted, I knew I was going to homeschool him at least for the first year. And I really wanted to figure out, um, I wanted to be able to search for curriculum based on the way that he learned. So I did find out that he was a hands-on and a visual learner. Um, and there were several math curricula that I was deciding between and I eventually went with Right Start and I think it was a really good fit for him. I think it's a really good fit for um, my second child as well. So um, the thing I probably love most about it and I tell people a lot is that instead of solidifying the math concepts in your mind through worksheet after worksheet or drilling with flashcards, you actually play a game at the end of most lessons, and um, I almost, <laughs> I almost feel like I'm like tricking them into learning, because I mean they're always really excited every time a, a lesson has a game. Um, they are both, I believe, as a result of this program, really strong um, in math. They both can do mental math quite quickly and quite accurately and I don't know if that's just um, you know the way they're wired or if it's a direct result of the program um, neither my husband or I struggle in math but I wouldn't say that either of us are like absolutely brilliant in math either there were several years of my life that I thought I was bad at math and now that I've used this and now that I have homeschooled, um, I have several years of homeschooling under my belt, I really feel like I don't think anybody is really bad at math. I think the people that don't understand math haven't, it hasn't been explained to them in a way that it's clicked for them yet. So this might be the program that really clicks for your child if your child struggles with math, but it may not be, um, so I'm going to go over the cons now, and <laughs> these are cons for me, but they might actually be pros for you. So this is just like the way things work, like in our home and in our family. Um, the biggest con for me is just how teacher intensive it is. There are some days of the week that I wish I could just like throw them a worksheet and um, have them do it all on their own, but I know that that might be a a pro for some people and probably um, me being involved actually is a pro for my kid kids but it's just um, some days it's you know when you're busy it's hard um, that they need you pretty much the whole time like every lesson the lessons um, I don't really think they take that long I think they take for us maybe 20 or 30 minutes um, the, the rest of the cons for me, um, I mean, I think a, a big one for some people is going to be the investment. Um, the first year you use it buying the manipulatives package, I believe the manipulatives are around $200. And then, um, every year you'll get like a workbook and then a teacher manual. We've always used the second edition, by the way. You'll get a workbook and a teacher manual, and that pack is about $90. So 
So your first year, you're spending almost $300. And then every year after that, about 90. I have found, um, I have found very gently used ones or not at all used on eBay. Um, every year I try to just get the best deal. I know, um, there's not a lot of homeschool conventions going on, but, um, some, some, sometimes Right Start will do like a virtual homeschool group. They'll go ahead and honor their discount, even though they're, we're not able to have homeschool conventions right now. If you're watching this at a later date, um, we're at the beginning of 2021. And so last year, of course, there wasn't really homeschool conventions, um, but Right Start still sent out like a coupon code. And they also, I believe, have a Black Friday sale. So there are ways to get the program at a discount, but I feel like it's really expensive. Um, worth it for us, but um, I think most homeschool families are single income and a lot of homeschool families have, you know, several children. And that leads me into my next con, which is that I do not feel that the work, the books are very durable. I've only gone through two children and on a lot of our books, the cover is detached and I am, <laughs> I'm not super rough <laughs> with our materials. I am pretty, I mean, I don't let my kids like throw them around and we don't like handle them roughly. And um, yeah, we haven't even like gone on the road with our homeschool. Um, so for me, like that's kind of a con um, because they are such an investment. I like to resell the teacher's manuals. Um, obviously the worksheets are used up. Um, and so, you know, it's hard to sell something that like the cover is not attached to the book anymore. Just a few other very minor cons is that um, we ran into a couple of the games where I thought the instructions were like a tiny bit vague. As much as we love the games, there's just been a few games that um, they just like take so long to set up and so long to learn that. Um, and then we would run into a situation where like we were kind of stuck, like nobody could go and we didn't really know what to do. So there's only been a few of those actually in like five years. Um, and then there is a couple, one or two enrichment lessons in um, every level. And there was one for us that was just, I felt like it was tedious, very time consuming. And um, we didn't really get we didn't really get back the investment of our time as far as like the learning um, from that particular, the enrichment lessons are often more like crafty and you would do them over several days. Um, but of course, you know, if you look through the instructions of something and you already know that it's not, it's not something you're interested in. I mean, you're the teacher, so you can actually pass on that, which is um, what I did the second time through. But the, the first time through, um, we did try to do it, and it wasn't it wasn't fun. Um, I think that's everything for me. Um, if you have any questions about a particular level, because I've gone from A all the way up, halfway through F, you can leave them down below and I will try to answer them uh, for you. And also, um, <laughs> just if you have any great ideas for storing manipulatives, um, leave that down below too because there's I've tried several ways to organize them and I haven't come up with anything great. Right now we have them in a couple bins. Um, and then I do have some card games in plastic cases. And then other than that, you know, just Ziploc bags. I've tried several different ways, haven't come up with anything great. So um, yeah, maybe if you want to tell me uh, how you're organizing the manipulatives, that would be really helpful for everybody, I think. So thanks for watching and have a great day.